We left things in the last video where we just installed Visual Studio Code and MAMP. And if you recall, I said, if you've got your own development environment, then please feel free to continue using that. If you recall, we had this blank index.php file. Now, if you don't have an index.php file, don't panic. All you need to do is to click on this little icon here to add a new file and then just call it index.php. Just to show you that, I'm just going to remove this one by right clicking and I can delete. So this is the way you should be starting off, probably unless you've got that index.php. Click on new file. We call it index.php. Now the extension.php must be there. If it's not, it won't work. Obviously we're dealing with PHP files and we need the extension.php. You may be familiar with HTML files or CSS files. Before we start coding, I thought I'd just run through one or two things on Visual Studio Code, just in case you get lost. We have here, this opens up this navigation panel here. It's called the Explorer, I believe. Uh, the search and the GitHub, and I mean, basically these icons here, do not worry about them at this level. If you click on this Explorer, you can hide this panel here. And that's quite handy if you're writing long lines of code. The other thing I would point out is if the code is too small, by clicking on Command Plus or probably uh, Control Plus if you're on a PC, you can actually zoom in and out. So Control Plus or Command Plus and Command Minus. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so we can see things nice and clearly. Now it's tradition in coding circles that your very first piece of code is called Hello World. And all it is, it's just to echo to the screen the words Hello World. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now I'll go ahead and write the code, then I'll explain afterwards what's going on. So we need a left angle bracket, question mark, PHP. I'm just going to press enter. And then all I'm going to do is say echo and then quotation marks and then hello and then world. At the end of the line, I press a semicolon. Now to save the file, all you do is press command or control S and that will save the file unless you've got auto saved switched on. And I'll show that in a second. Now what we can do is go across to the browser and have a look and see if we get hello world on the screen. So I'll switch across to the browser Press refresh and I'll just zoom in a bit so we can see a bit clearly. And there we go. We've got hello world. Your first piece of code is written. Let's pop back to Visual Studio Code and have a look at this code. So what we have on line one, this here is called an opening PHP tag. And obviously when we write PHP code, we must have the opening PHP tag. Next we have echo and echo just means output to the screen. Now, when I hover above the word echo, we get this little dictionary definition, which looks really complicated. Don't worry about it. The next thing is in the quotation marks, this is what we're outputting to the screen, which is just simply hello world. And then after each line of PHP code, we must finish with a semicolon. Now we also have a closing PHP tag, which is question mark and then right angle bracket. But if you're just writing PHP code, you do not need to put that closing tag in. And in fact, it's recommended that you don't include it. Now, if this is your first time writing code, what you might want to do is just command A and delete, and then write out the code yourself again. If you're used to writing code, then feel free to move on to the next video. So we have followed tradition. We've echoed hello world to the screen. And in the next video, we're going to take things a step further. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.